where do you think it's the best place to plant a young tree? In an open field or in an area with other trees? Well, scientists tell us that a young tree grows faster and deeper when it's planted in the area with other trees. The reason is that the roots of the younger tree can follow the pathways created by other trees which help them grow. The more fascinating fact is that all the roots of young and old trees connect with each other and create an inter con create an connection underground. And this is legacy, an interconnection across time between those who came before and after us. We may have different roots at different places, but we, do, we are connected to each other. I can give you the book definition of legacy, what it means, how important it is. But instead, I'm going to define it the way I think it is. I think legacy can take many forms. It can be a book, a story, a grandmother, a, um, a home, and many others. And I think legacy can take form of a mathematical pattern. I'm an engineer and scientist, and my job is to analyze concepts and shift perspective and look at things differently. And I also like combining everything with science. So what if we shift our perceptions and define legacy as a pattern of meanings and purposes? Same as math. Let me show you how. I'm sure everybody knows the answer for this question, right? It's an easy one. The point is, 2 plus 2 will always be 4. No question. So what if we make this a little bit more complicated to predict the outcome? This may seem a, li a little bit more difficult, but if you dust your math knowledge, you can find the answer. And this is one of the most famous equations, known as Schrodinger equations, which analyze the wave function of a quantum mechanical systems. But I'm not going to get too deep into this. The point is, as the equation gets more complicated and involves more variables, the outcome will be different. And difference is good. So we can use the same equation and insert different variables and collect significant results. Do you see the connection between meaningful sequence of past, present, and future? So the idea is, if you take an equation and change the variables, you are going to inherit a different version of legacy, your own unique legacy. It's simple math. We grow, we are born when reached a certain age. We go to school, get educated, get a job, get married, have kids, work through our whole life, and die. Well, this almost seems like a pattern to follow, right? So what if you make a change in this pattern? What could have happened? Let's look at these examples. The numbers can change, but the pattern will stay the same. There is another set of examples. Similar to the previous case, the number can be different, but the pattern is the same. This could be a predictable outcome based on the previous pattern cases. Everything is the same except this one variable added to the equation and changed the outcome. And this variable can be anything. The point is the outcome has changed. Do you see the connection? So if you make a change in the equation and add more variables into your life, you're going to change your story and many others. Because remember, we're all connected by our legacies. We may not necessarily become an Albert Einstein, that our names and accomplishments will be remembered forever. So, but we can leave our lives to leave something to follow by others. We're linked to each other with, with invisible connections, and we follow by generations. We, we desire to leave a legacy and hoping to be remembered in some ways. We're connected by hopes, memories, tradition, and experiences. Although we're connected by our legacies, but we do have our personal purposes and meanings. Remember, you have something this world needs. So you may ask, 
what is this different variable to insert the equation? How do we know it? Or how do you find it? And what if the outcome is not positive? Well, the, the, when we're thinking about a positive outcome, we think of a state being happy. If you think about it, we're wishing someone happy birthday or happy new year. We live our life trying to find a way to have to be happy and hoping to leave behind a happy life and a better future for others. Leaving something positive is the goal, but it may not be the case at all times. There were days that my experiments failed over and over, but it didn't stop me from trying new methods, thinking for different ways, and inserting new variables to the equation. And I knew it would work, and it'll make a difference for me in the life of others. I have a story that I tell my students when they feel that they're not good enough or they're not getting the outcomes they wanted. Imagine there's three monkeys put in a cage with a banana. And every time the one of the monkeys try to reach the banana, they get beaten up with water and get soaking wet. After a while, the one of the monkeys were removed from the cage and replaced with a different, with a different monkey. As the new monkey tries to reach the banana, he gets beaten up by other monkeys and not knowing why, but he never touched the banana again. The second monkey was replaced, the results was the same. Finally, the third and last monkey was replaced in the cage, and the cage was full of monkeys who never took the banana or touched the banana, but got beaten up and not knowing why. And this banana can be anything. It can be an idea, a dream, that something that you really wanted to do one day and part of your story. When I was younger, all I heard was you can't. You can't that get the scholarship, you can't go to that school, you can't get this job, you can't do that, and you can't do this. So I'm thinking to myself, what if I haven't done all the things that I did? How would I write my own story? Well, I decided to get beaten up and take that banana and my story began. And this is my legacy. So what is your story? What is your legacy? What is that making you wake up in the morning? How do you want people to remember you? Or what, do you, what is that you want to leave behind when you're not around anymore? You may not save the world or solve global warming and other problems, but you can do something small for the big world. We're so used to follow the same math and numbers, but what if you change the equation? Don't be afraid to change the formula of your life, build your own equation, write your own story, and your legacy.